Hello and welcome to another video review from Servercase UK. I'm Richard, the Technical Director here at Servercase UK. All of our products we review here, plus many more, are available to buy on our website at www.servercase.co.uk. Today we are reviewing the Shembro RM41824 E2. The E2 on the end means it's an expander chassis. It's actually the standard chassis that we now sell as the RM841824, which is this beast here. I thought I'd give you a quick video review of it, show you around the system. This is a machine that we've built for one of our clients. I'll work front to the back. You've got 24 hot swappable bays at the front. They'll all accept 3.5 inch and 2.5 inch hard drives. No bracketry is required to put 2.5 inch. So you could actually load this up with 24 SSDs if you really wanted a monstrously fast machine. In this instance, the customer has actually opted for 24 3 terabyte Seagate Constellation drives. So there's actually 72 terabytes of available storage in here. Now we've set these up for the customer as this is a full server build with RAID 6 that's given plenty of storage capacity at the front there. So you've got the front backplane system here. Now this is actually an expander backplane. What that means is that you only need a four port RAID card to keep this running instead of a 24 bay, uh, sorry, 24 port RAID card that you normally need. And of course that reduces your initial cost of purchase quite significantly because the RAID cards are much, uh, much more cost effective at four ports than compared to 16 or 24 ports, for example, that you'd always need for this. Um, the only downside if you wanted to go for an expander is that the bandwidth is only very slightly lower. So if you're looking for a storage server, it's absolutely perfect. If you're looking for something that is wire speed drive access to your 24 drives and you need a 24 port RAID controller, this flavour of chassis, however, only comes in expander, but we do sell other models that don't come in an expander version. So I'll show you around the chassis. Bit of a big, big chassis, so it's difficult to fit on the screen, but I'll move it around, try and show as much as I can of it. So at the front, what we got? We got the fan array at the front there. These are PWM temperature controlled fans. They're actually temperature controlled back based on the back plane. They connect straight to the back plane there, and these are temperature control running at variable speed so these are all hot swappable, removable you know using the um, little latches that they come with and you can remove them while the system is actually running as well so they're actually connected to the back plane you can actually set the temperature that they actually rise up and down in speed by default they're 55 degrees but you can actually set it at 65 or if you wanted to you can turn off the fan speed altogether so that they're just running at full speed and these run at around about 9000 rpm when running at full speed so they're very powerful pushing a lot of air. Just behind that you've got the usual motherboard area. Now it's difficult for me to show you unfortunately because it's such a tall chassis. So I'm just going to move the camera very slightly forward and you can have a look. Okay. So you've got in there you've got an X9 SCL motherboard. That's a super micro motherboard. Fantastic little boards these are. They're micro ATX. They support three PCIe 8x uh, connection cards. You've got in here, for this particular use, you've got an LSI 9260-4i. Uh, it's got the battery backup on it as well. And of course there's a four port um, LSI, sorry, mini SAS connection that goes straight to the back plane at the front. That's all that's required, basically. The customers opted for an Intel Xeon E3 1230V2 and 16 gig of RAM. Now it doesn't need a lot of RAM because this is more of a storage server. Of course you can put in whatever you want into this machine. You can actually put in a standard ATX board or a full size ATX board which uses the whole area. Another nice feature of the chassis, as long as, along with the fantastic cabling that you can do in here, is that on the back you can have two two and a half inch hard drives. Now it's actually standard now on all of these model of chassis. So I'll show you this, I'll move the camera around again and we can have a look at the back of the chassis. Okay, so that's the back of the chassis. What we've got is we've got two redundant power supplies. What that means is that if one of those fails, you can take it out while the system's going and there's no downtime at all to your server. These are 960 watts each, so it's plenty to power a, a dual or even potentially a quad motherboard. You'd have to put in some more fans at the back if you wanted a quad motherboard, but in its initial configuration, you can have it a single or dual CPU. With that power supply, it will pretty much run anything that you fancy. Above that, is the real special bit now. It's coming, becoming a lot more common on these sort of chassis is two, two and a half inch hot swappable drives. Now in this, the customer's opted for 320 gig uh, Western Digital Black drives. Now these are their enterprise class, two and a half inch. They're just before you can effect going into a SAS drive. So these are mirrored using the onboard RAID on the Supermicro motherboard in a RAID 1 mirror. 
but that means you can store your operating system on here because of course they're only 320 gig and that's 320 gig usable after the RAID 1 mirror but of course you can put Windows 2012 or another operating system on there. Now you could virtualize this if you wanted to with VMware um, or, or another operating system but they they decided just to put Windows 2012 directly onto this because there's no other need to any, any other way. So that's I suppose a little bit of a quick overview of this machine. As I say, this is a machine that we built for a customer. We do serve builds every day, uh, but we just like to highlight the ones which are a bit extra special or the ones which are, uh, you know people will be interested in buying um, you know, or customizing. And of course, we can put whatever components you like into these. Uh, we have all the components that are on here available on our website, or just get in touch with us. And of course, we can fully customize and build a server solution for you. Just get in touch with us. So as I say, this is the Shembo RM418. 2.4 E2 chassis based on a Supermicro motherboard, Intel Xeon processor and LSI RAID controller. Hopefully this is a bit of interest to you. Uh, please do like or share this video on YouTube and uh, also have a look at our Facebook page as well which we're working quite hard on now and uh, we've got a few competitions going so please do check back. Thank you ever so much. Thank you.